Well, good morning, it's Crazy Cheap Chick, and this week we are going to be in Winfield, Kansas. And I'm gonna to try to take some video and show you a little bit of the town so you can travel along with us. So this is the Winfield Fairgrounds. And um, it's $17 if you're hooking up with electrical and water, and just $5 if it's, you know, tent camping. Well, here's where we've been staying at a campground down by the Walnut River. And I've heard this is a pretty popular place to stay, um, especially during, I think they have like a bluegrass festival or something here. This gives you a little bit better view of the county campground. And I've been told that during these festivals, I mean, they will just have people lined up, you know, bumper to bumper parking out here. So some people will come like a week in advance, I was told, to try to claim their spot. That's a nice campground. So this is the third time we've come down to Winfield. And you can probably hear that train. <laughs> and the first couple of times I was a little leery of this campground. But now I've kind of come to really like it. Now that it's all greened up and there's more people staying here, um, I feel safer and I've gotten to know the town better. Uh, I don't feel nervous anymore. So um, yeah, I like the campground. We had a, we've had a good time and we've got to come back a couple of more times. So we'll probably stay here again. And now I'm gonna go walk into town and we're gonna see what we can see. So I didn't go to the job site today because I wasn't feeling real great this morning. And I called my husband and I'm like, you think I'd be okay to go out and take a walk? Cause you know, I'm kind of nervous. I feel more vulnerable the older I get. There's, you know, violent incidents every day now. People just accidentally being in the wrong place at the wrong time and someone overreacting. And he's like, you'll be fine. And so I wanted to show you what's behind me. In Kansas, that's what we call a Kansas castle. Now that would hold a ton of grain. In fact, my husband, when I asked him about taking the walk, he goes, just don't get hit by a train. Because man, this is an active train track over here. I love trains though. doesn't enjoy playing the piano in their yard. I bet they're the most popular people on the block. One thing I've noticed about this town is they have a ton of food trucks. And I thought this one was kind of cute. On the back, they turned their propane tank into a minion. <laughs> That's super cute. I don't know what they serve like straight up wings. Don't you just love houses with big front porches and porch swings and kind of tell we're down in southern Kansas, can't you? Here's the love store. I thought the song said you can't buy love. So this is downtown Winfield and it is super cute. I mean, we're well kept up, friendly people. Looks like they've been around for a long time, 150 years. I wish I had time to eat at all these restaurants. That looks really yummy. And someone told me that lives here that this Chinese restaurant is really good. But I didn't have time to go there either. Oh my, maybe I spoke too soon. We've got curls gone wild here in Winfield. <laughs> That's a cute name for a beauty salon. Looks like they're getting ready to have the Wizard of Paws here. So last night I went in the Warner Creek farm store. It was super cute. I bought some soap and I think some bee balm or something. And then we came over here with friends and had some beer. 
well, the men had beer. <laughs> I had wine. And it was super cute. Now, I'm going to tell you something about Winfield, Kansas. I mean, the people here, just over the top friendly. Uh, if you were looking to move someplace, <laughs> I think Winfield would have to be pretty high on your list. I mean, it's just a great place, I think, probably to raise kids. Now, I thought this was really cute the way they did this. And you can tell this used to be an old gas station. It's called the Ladybird. And I don't know if you can tell inside there. They have all the brewing tanks. They're really patient and explained all the different beers. And then after you've had a little to drink, I guess you can come over here and roller skate. That would be entertaining. I'm walking down to this park. It's called Island Park. And I think the river completely encircles the park. So I kind of wanted to go down here and just take a walk and see what it was like. But it's really, there's a lot of trucks go up and down this highway, so it's kind of hard to make a video. But what I was going to tell you, when I passed that skating rink back there, it just brought back so many memories of when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, your parents would drop you off at the um, skating rink. So all the kids from about eight to 18 in the little town I grew up in, that is what we did for entertainment. We skated round and round and round, and I loved it. Now, getting on roller skates today would probably kill me because I've lost the ability to skate, but back then, man, I was a champion. They've got these um, stonework here and it's interesting it says let the circle be unbroken and the artist is david chapman and it says in honor of winfield's rich music heritage and the walnut valley festival so this festival where they get all these um campers 4200 campers and I, that must really be a big big deal down here though i've had never heard of it and there we are telling us we're in Winfield, Kansas. Well, as you can see, I've made it to Island Park. Let's go check it out. I first had to come over and look at the irises. I would say down here in Winfield, since I'm up in northern Kansas, they're probably like two weeks ahead of us weather-wise, and so all the iris are blooming. And if I had to pick a favorite flower, I don't know if I could, but I do know iris would be probably in the top three. I just really love irises. And there's so many different varieties. These are beautiful. Though I believe this is the Walnut River that circles around this park. We got some geese. It's really pretty. It says, welcome to Island Park. And they put some geese or ducks on there. So I guess these guys must live here. Hey. You geese. Do you know my geese, Ricky and Lucy? I want to tell you something. You do not know real terror until you have been chased by a goose. There's a lot of geese out here. Or ducks. I don't know what you are. All right, let's keep our distance. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? Good day to be a goose or a duck or whatever you are. <coughs> Looks like over here we got the Peace Garden. Boy, they got some beautiful um, tulips. Looks like the peonies are about to bloom. Look at these tulips. Gorgeous. Not quite sure what this little building is. This bell used here 1886 to 1918. We've got a really nice amphitheater out here. They must have music in this park. It must be a very musical town. And this here says Story Walk.
Meet the creator of the potato pants. So this is a story walk. So I guess you walk and read. But you know, I've never seen anything like that in a park before. It's really kind of a cool idea. Looks like I'm about to read potato pants. I have to admit though, like the shape of these pants to fit potatoes is really more or less my shape. So I think we could come up with a whole line of clothing called potato pants for women my age. Looks like there was quite a controversy whether to call them spud slacks, tater trousers, or yam chaps. Hmm. Now that's a playground. Let's go check it out. In case you wondered where you're at, they have very kindly marked it out here on the map where Winfield is. Now, you can, you don't have to be in town a long time to make some pretty good um, educated guesses about it. And I think you can tell Winfield really cares about its children. I mean, look at this beautiful playground. Really nice. I mean, there's towns three times the size that don't go to this effort because one time I was put in charge of building a playground for a, a business I worked for. Uh, they wanted to donate it as a gift to the town and it was super, super expensive and it was like a tenth of this size. Okay, now how cute is this? And this also tells you so much in Kansas. Uh, this is the kind of things we like in Kansas. Isn't it adorable though? I mean, this is just adorable. And the tractor, of course. Trying not to get the people's kids in the picture. And the kid and me just really wants their picture on top of a cow or a pig. And I'm not too old to want to ride these little ponies. I mean, this would be a really good day trip from even Kansas City, Topeka, Manhattan, other towns here in Kansas, because who wouldn't want to play on that? It's like the ultimate Spider-Man web. This disc. And this, this, is, this is some fun stuff. I'm really wishing I had a kid with me so I could play on some of this stuff. I didn't even notice the Viking ship. Well, that's a beautiful willow tree. Now, in Kansas, we do have a couple of little waterfalls, not very big, but mainly if you have a waterfall, it's gonna be man-made like this one. I like it. If you watch my videos, <laughs> you've probably picked up on the fact that I'm kind of an anxious person. And um, so I had asked, a friend who's from this area, you know, like, what's the bad areas of town? She's like, there are no bad areas in town. <laughs> She's like, this is the safest place on earth. And um, everyone is so friendly here. Everyone stops you and asks you questions and says hello. Even when I'm walking, people wave. It, it really reminds me of the town I grew up in where people were just super friendly and cared about one another. So really, Winfield is a place you should check out. And this lady was telling me the waterfall over there that I was taking a picture of. She said it was designed by a prisoner and that they dug this canal and this canal that goes all around this park and that the waterfall aerates it and keeps it from going stagnant. And she said it was a prisoner who came up with the idea and designed the waterfall. And she also said that the geese are getting ready to nest. And she said once they have their little babies, she said it's just so cute to watch the little babies. So there's a crane out there. And the lady I was talking to told me that they have nesting boxes for them out here to attract them. 
and they are so cool i don't know if you've ever seen a crane fly but they're really neat we get them out at the farm sometimes down in the creek bed and then over here of course we've got some ducks peaceful isn't it right here you guys are getting ready to have a family congratulations some really nice walking trails out here and several bridges that go over this um, waterway look down here look what I see look at all the turtles lined up there on the log now that was something I didn't expect to see today I don't have a uh time to walk this today but it looks like the kind of thing I would enjoy and it looks like they have more of an easier trail up here I really love to walk and so it looks like they have a, a really nice paved trail also around the park I've noticed several antique stores in town if you like to antique. Oh, that's a cute sign. I love that idea. I have yet to have the pleasure of eating at this restaurant, Shindig's, but everyone in town has told me it's really, really good. Shindig's. After you get dinner, I guess you can go over and get some guns and ammo. This looks like an Asian market. I wish I had time to go in there. And there's also an Asian food truck, which everyone has told me is really, really good. There's their menu. But they have limited hours, and I don't think we've been here when it's been open, honestly. But boy, that looks good. Okay, right here we have the Wet Pet, which I think is just a really cute name for a pet grooming place. And across the street is the Burger Station. And everyone in town has told me you have to eat at the Burger Station, you have to eat at the Burger Station. I had to walk over here just because I thought the sign was cute and I had to see what it said. They've made a sign out of an old bicycle. Like I said, lots and lots of antique stores. This one's called the Emporium. Open for your refined junk hunt. <laughs> That's cute. Urban Prairie Mercantile. Now, I am going to go in here. This made me laugh. Nope. Pull. Now that's the truth. You know it's Kansas. That is definitely me. I had to just show you this tree. Now, I know you might not think a tree is that exciting, but this tree is gigantic. I don't know what kind of tree that is, but man, is it big. I, I need someone to stand next to it for perspective because I just feel like I'm not getting across to you just how big this tree is. This would be a really pretty camping spot if I was gonna pick one, if you didn't need water or electricity, to have a nice view of the river from up here. But we were over there. Here we are. I believe this is the Walnut River. Sort of pretty. Looks like most Kansas rivers. 
since our daughter watched our dog while we were gone, I got her this little planter. It looks like our dog. And I also got her this. And on the other side, it says, every meal you make, every bite you take, I'll be watching you. <laughs> and that is so our dog. Now, of course, we are in Kansas, so the wind is blowing. And if you got anything at all out of my video today, including a laugh out of my hair blowing around, then give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, um, leave me a comment. All of those things make me happy, um, as long as it's a respectful comment. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and find a gem of a town like Winfield, Kansas.